Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids, across our beloved Empire and those special individuals that happen to be a dyad in the forest. Wow! This... I don't think anyone can predicted that this was gonna happen. We just got the next conquest unit announced and can reveal, and it's supposed to be a lifter unit for Galactic Legends Ray. Whoa! We're talking about the one and only Ben Solo. Now there is some good news associated with this. I mean, the bad news is Ray's already really good when it comes to trying to find non-GL counters to her. She's she's gonna get even better because now they're gonna be granted in <laughs> Damage immunity right away. You can't kill Ray until you kill off Ben Solo, but you can't kill off Ben Solo until you get Ray below 50% health. This is just pure and utter madness. But the good news associated with this is that this is the first time CG is retroactively going back and adding a lifter unit to an old Galactic Legend. So we can maybe predict Snoke might be added for Supreme Leader Kyle Ren. I don't know what would be for Sith Eternal and Jedi Master Luke, but the point being is the good news is here, if you feel like you've been missing out on the action, seeing Maul as well as uh, Commander Ahsoka Tano, well, it seems like they're going backwards, but we were expecting maybe a uh, Red 5 X-Wing for the Profundity, or maybe we were expecting a Lifter unit for Jabba the Hutt. And definitely unpredictable, but kind of interesting. Let's go showcase the key reveal. Oh, important to put out there in case it wasn't clear enough. This is Conquest unit exclusive here. Um, we've had this discussion before, but I feel like, man, they're just, I wish we would just have more normal legendary type events to get these characters. There are just way too many important characters and ships tied to Conquest. I do kind of miss the days of, you know, legendary events, uh, albeit now they're Relic 5 minimum, but <laughs> I think you guys know what I mean. Maybe, maybe I'm in the wrong. Maybe you guys like them being Conquest gated and then you wait a year to get him through Proving Grounds and wait another year here. Apparently they picked uh, Ben Solo here. Uh, because Ray was the first pair of Galactic Legends that was released, and we wanted to return to some of the older Galactic Legends that do not have Conquest counterparts. That's the good news about this. Ben Soul is designed to increase Ray's viability in a number of different game modes. I mean, she's already really darn good. I mean, the, the one area, fun fact, uh, I'm working on my Galactic Legends rank fitter. should be out tomorrow. The one area she is kind of weak, she... A lot of GLs can beat her, but there's not a ton of off-meta stuff for her, with the exception of Starkiller. It's going to be a bit of a problem here because of Ben Solo. I don't think he's going to be great outside of the raid teams. Uh, he does have synergy with not just of GL raid, but any other raid elite, so Jedi training raid. So you'll have some uses. I don't think it's going to be like a mall though. And let's just check it out finally. Light side attacker, unaligned force user. Allegedly, they said this is going to be like a glass cannon type of character. So, eh. oh boy, <laughs> this is not a GL that needed a lot of love, but hey, they're going to be getting it here. So, a powerful force user whose internal struggles have long placed them on the edges of the light and dark. Now, I know people are going to say, oh, why, does, why do we need a light side Ben Solo? Well, to be fair, Lord Vader, it was only kind of, what, a couple minutes in Revenge of the Sith. This was a couple minutes inside of the Rise of Skywalker, so I'm not going to have too much of an argument there. Uh, a Shadow Within. Deal special damage to target enemy and inflict defense down for one turn. If the target enemy is the tank, this deals 100% more damage. And if the target enemy is an attacker support, you inflict offense down and potency down for one turn. And if the target enemy is a healer, inflict speed down for one turn. So the reason why this looks really funny, it's, uh, I know this is, you know, there's other teams that have attacker supports and tanks. It sounds like it's giving Ben a variety of ways to handle star killer teams because you have to have kind of specific characters and the all different tags and attributes associated with them. It's just, it's gonna variety of situations. Ben Soul's gonna provide you a lot of control over the enemy like imagine an offense down on star killer that's gonna really slow down their groove it would seem like or even mara jade for that matter uh special one obscured uh not the most interesting name right there but it's got an omicron cooldown of four this does have grand arena omicrons i'm biased i know i try to always let you guys know in case you guys do want to have more of a well-rounded experience you know territories might be more important than i give it it is more important than it has before but grander and omicrons are just a lot more exciting and that's where crystals are stored so and you play it a lot more often than territory so i think i have reason to be biased here but anyways final text deal special damage remove 100 percent turn meter and this is what i was saying he's got synergy with any rate if there's any version of her even heck you put the scavenger rate, even though she doesn't have a lead in the allied leader slot you're gonna blind the target enemy for two turns and gain offense up for two turns 
Yeah, as well that kind of looks like almost like the mall animation looks like they, they recycled maybe a little bit of it in terms of the, the little whoosh the wind animation that they have there so that's kind of big right there and then while in grand arena that's where the omicron kicks in if all allies were light side at the start of battle when this ability is used ben soul's cooldowns are reduced by one and if galactic legend raise in the allied leader slot this attack instant <laughs> instead deals true damage and inflicts healing immunity for four turns which can't be copied spelled evaded or resist it. I, I believe Malgus would still resist this because he can't be getting uh, healing immunity. I guess we'll have to wait and see, but I'm assuming he's going to be able to resist it still. Family Legacy Zeta cooldown of four. Whew. Couple words here we got to go over. Deal special damage to target enemy and inflict armor shred until the end of the encounter. So not a lot of armor shred characters. We only have like what, maybe four ish in the game. This is definitely going to be another one on the list here. If allies were light side at the start of battle, Dispel all buffs from all enemies and deal true damage again to all enemies. All allies gain 5% terminator, cap it out at 25% terminator for each enemy damage by ability. So if there's five enemies, 25% terminator. One enemy, 5% terminator. And this attack can't be evaded. So you're basically guaranteed to get terminator. Uh, Huck should be able to shut this down or any anti terminator, Jedi Master Kenobi, for that matter. Unique ability, Zeta and Omicron redeemed. Now, this isn't quite like the redeemed, like Juhani gives. She has a redeemed type of thing in territories. It's a little bit different. Uh, probably should have used a different word, but I get it. It makes sense for Ben. At the start of the battle, if all of Ben's soul allies were light side and there's any version of her in the allied leader slot, he gets 15% max cell, 10 speed for each light side ally. So again, that's the beauty thing about Ray. She's a very plug and play Jill. You can put a lot of different light side characters with her. Ben's gonna still work, even though it might not be heavily resistant. It's just gotta be light side. For each light side ally, excluding summons. We don't have a lot of light side summons in the game. Ben Solo ignore taunt during his turn. That's kind of big right there. And then while in Grand Arena, Ben Solo's attacks ignore protection. So it might not seem like a big Omicron. Might not be, but depends on his damage. You know how repost has been pretty nasty. The data crowns and the Jedi. Think of this like a repost. It's kind of like a baked in repost, but 24 seven, not on special abilities like how the data crown is right now. And then we have the force dyad. This is nutty right here. Uh, Zeta and Omicron. If all allies were light set at the start of the battle and there's any version of her in the allied leader slot. So Ray, GL Ray, Jedi training Ray, stick Ray. All allies gain instant defeat immunity. I think I accidentally called it damage, but it's not damage immunity. It's instant defeat immunity. So it's meant to kind of shut out Commander Sokotano for one turn at the start of each encounter, which can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. And then while Ben Solo is active, Ray can't be defeated. But Ben Solo can't be defeated while Ray's above 50% of this. She's got an absolutely ginormous health pull with the mods, her unique abilities, her kit, and just the data crons in here. That's not an easy task. And then keep on when you get Ray below 50% health, that's when, you know, she starts doing sudden whirlwind and all this other funny stuff. And then lastly, while in Grand Arenas, if Galactic Legends Ray is in the allied leader slot, if the enemy in the leader slot begins their turn with Ben Soul defeated and Ben still has an active ally, he revives with, <laughs> this is dirty, 51% health and all allies gain instant defeat immunity again. For the rest of the encounter, which can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented, this is an Omicron that you're gonna want to have on this character here. I mean, the, the also the obscured, uh, oh, the obscured looks like it's gonna be good too, but this one is the must-have. This might be a one Omicron type of character. It's hard to say, but the reason why the 51% thing is just kind of dirty is because Ray's sudden whirlwind. It's kind of a little funny uh, because anytime lights and allies are dropping below 60% health, she's constantly resetting the cooldowns of sudden whirlwind here so um this is gonna be a great addition for ray i don't quite see this being great outside of ray it's nice that you know the one thing i was worried about with conquest characters you don't want to be just too limited just the galactic legends maul's great by himself cat she could work with for example padme some scoundrel based teams you don't want to be too tied to a gl i don't think it's going to be that versatile i think it's going to have some jedi training ray uses getting the instant defeat immunity it's gonna be pretty good so um man conquest Arguably, you know, I say Grand Arena support. Conquest is probably the most important game mode in the game because it's got all these big units. It's kind of the, the fake legendary factory of Galaxy of Heroes nowadays here. Let me know what you guys think. So we're looking at what? It's August right now. We're probably not going to see this character until probably October, late September. 
We have to go through three conquest cycles here. So uh, stay tuned. I guess we'll find out what this guy is all about. But we, without a doubt in mind, this is a big addition to Galactic Legends Ray with her kit. Having to dance, she can't be defeated right away. Because one of the problems with Star Killer is you got to go all in on her right away. But you can't kill her off until you work down Ben Solo. Then when Ben Solo, he can't be killed until Ray. There's, you're going to do a lot of dancing. And I think it's mainly meant to make the Star Killer battle. A little bit harder as well as not being as easy for Jedi Master Kenobi. They just walk right over Galactic Legends Ring. The thing I'm looking forward to most, as I said at the beginning, I'm really curious to see what are they going to do for the future for things like Sith Eternal very specifically. Maybe they add Pride, potentially. We didn't really see Sith Eternal with a lot of folks. He was just kind of chilling by himself. Supreme Eater Kyle Ren, at this rate, I think I'm heavily expecting a Snoke sometime down the road. But nonetheless, nothing uh, for Jabba the Hutt right now. And also, nothing for profundity. And that's what we were predicting here. So, time will tell. Even though there might not be a lifting unit for Jabba now. Kind of what we're seeing. Ray's, what, two years old? And she's getting some love in Galaxy of Heroes with her little BFF, I should say. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe so you're not missing a thing. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, I would be surprised if anyone thought this was going to happen right now. I had a feeling Ben Solo was going to happen. But not right now. The the theming of this year is weird. There was not a theme going on. It's just all over the place, which makes it a bit more interesting when random stuff happens. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Stay tuned for the Galactic Legends ring fit. It should be done by tomorrow. If we're not stalled with other stuff here. And as always, remember, it's great to be in the Empire today.